This is Natalie's plain English from cotton to clothing. Cotton to clothing, a process people typically don't ever think about, but without cotton, there wouldn't be clothing, and without clothing, well, that's a different story. Although there are many types of materials clothing is made out of, such as polyester, wool, silk, and nylon, today we will be focusing on cotton. There are five basic processes in turning cotton seed into a cotton garment. The steps are planting and growing, harvesting, cleaning, spinning, and manufacturing. Let's begin with the first step. Cotton seeds are grown all over the world, but the biggest cotton growing nations include China, India, the United States, Brazil, and Pakistan. After the flowers of a cotton plant have blossomed, they fall off and a green seed pod remains. The pod ripens in the sun until its internal fibers expand until they burst out of the pod, like so. When the cotton plant looks like this, it is ready to be harvested. The second step is to harvest the cotton. Although cotton used to be picked by hand, cotton is now almost entirely harvested mechanically. The cotton is harvested with a cotton picking machine. In cases of organic cotton, the cotton pods are still picked by hand to this day. The cotton pods that are harvested are packaged into large bales in order to be transported to the cotton mill. At the mill, the cotton pods are processed through a cotton gin. Not your olden day cotton gin, but your new and improved cotton gin. The gin cleans and dries the raw cotton. It also removes any debris within the, debris within the cotton by passing it through fine tooth combs. The combs also brush the cotton fibers straight and align them to make clean lint. The lint is sold to textile mills by length, color, and cleanliness. The fourth step in the process is spinning. The long lint fibers are processed through a machine that aligns the fibers into a long, soft rope called a sliver. The sliver is then taken to the spinning frame to be spun into thread. The single threads are often spun together with additional threads to make a stronger and more durable thread. The last step is the weaving and manufacturing process. The cotton threads are wo woven into a cloth by using a loom, one of these. The loom allows for different kinds of weaves to be generated, which varies the pattern and the tightness of the cloth. The cloth is then sold for manufacturing it into a garment. And that, my friends, is how you go from this to this.